Let's do it. Oh, man. All right. Well, look. Oh, let me take the jacket off. All right. It is so chilly outside. It's been raining. And it's just that, that weather where you just don't feel like doing nothing but just watching TV and chilling all day. But I knew I couldn't stay away too long because I know y'all need to know about the good products out there and Lord knows y'all need some entertainment in this kind of weather. So today we got the Travolo S from BenQ.com. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Pop this bad boy open. This thing's got some weight to it, so I'm assuming this is a very high quality speaker. It's electrostatic. I've never heard of such. So we're gonna find out together what electrostatic is. I know some of you guys out there already know, and you are probably going to type it out in the comment section, but we're gonna find out together for the rest of us. <laughs> okay, so we got 18 hours of playback and non-distorted 3D sound. We're gonna have to check this out man, and see what it's all about. All right, so we got a power plug right here. And it's got this adapter to it. I don't see any more adapters, so maybe depending on the country you're in, you'll get a special one or the country you order it from. So let's put that on there because we'll need it because, oh, I thought it was a regular DCM, but it is micro USB. So you can charge this up via the wall socket or you can probably use your computer or your, uh, your phone charger to, to get this thing powered up for your 18 hours of playback. Get this thing out of here. Okay, so this is nice. Wow, this is like a, I don't know if it's rose gold or bronze. I think it's a more of a bronze. This is gorgeous, man. These speaker grills right here. And I believe these are speakers right here too. Wow, okay, so these flip up. First of all, I wanted to see if this pouch would fit over it and it looks like it will. Just, just make sure, just in case you wanna travel with this thing. For traveling, it's got some weight to it, man. It's gotta be a good three or four pounds. But yes, it will fold up and travel with you. Let's put that bag down there. But look at this thing. This is gorgeous. You got some Travolo branding right here. You got your two drivers right here. And I do believe these are drivers as well. And they do help with the stereo. Or... Oh, wait, wow. We got some radiators here on both sides. This thing is just full of speakers. Okay, so <laughs> you got NFC tagging right there. You got your BenQ branding right here. I can't say enough about how beautiful this thing is and the craftsmanship that went into the design. That is gorgeous. Okay, and it sits up just like that. So I'm guessing you can listen to it like this and the, and the sound will just come straight at you. Or you can kind of fan these out like this and that helps with the 3D sound. But let's get this thing plugged up. Where's my phone? Okay, I got my phone here. You know I got to test out that uh, NFC. Hold on. Okay, pair with, okay, so as soon as you tap it, it turns itself on and, it, and your phone will ask you if you want to pair. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, because that's exactly what I want to do. So I was listening to my classic rock playlist a couple of days ago, and uh, I got some, man, I got some tunes on here, man. Well, let me find something good for y'all, man. Y'all know I like that Fleetwood Mac. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I just tested it out. This does not sync up with the volume on your phone, so they are independent. So you wanna turn your phone up all the way and then turn the Travolo up all the way or adjust the volume. But one of them should be at max volume and then you can control it uh, on the other device. So here we go. You can go your own way. Wow, okay, so the sound signature changes. You got like three different ways to change the sound signature. I'm really impressed with this particular song. So when you hit uh, the 3D mode, you can, you, can, you can just get more depth in the music and the vocals kind of, it's almost like this little thing has a surround sound mode. <laughs> it's got all these drivers on it and it really projects the sound well. I don't think I'm doing it justice at all, being at this little table in this little room. Let me take this somewhere else in the house and put it on a shelf or something, probably where you would put it and see how this thing sounds. Let's go. Okay, I guess by now you're wondering who this cat is over here in the couch eating tamales. That's my son. Say hi to the world, son. Hello. 
he likes tamales. Anyways, come on in here, let's take a look at this speaker. Okay, before I set the speaker up down here, I had to figure out what uh, electrostatic speakers actually were. I've heard the term before, but I never really cared enough to dig into it and find out for real, for real. So what happens is, instead of a regular cone diaphragm speaker, what they do is they take a thin sheet of plastic and sandwich it in between two pieces of metal, I guess, and one pushes, one pulls, and they kind of, I guess, flap the plastic around, and that's what moves the air. And what happens is you don't get that same booming effect from like a, a, a subwoofer, but you do get like maximum clarity out of your speaker. So that's more or less the layman's definition of the difference between a cone speaker and an electrostatic speaker. Let me tell you, I had this thing playing down here. Yeah, I play different genres of music. Uh, you wouldn't think this thing was made for hip hop, and I can't say it really is because you know it, it doesn't have that booming effect, but it does. It does project a nice amount of bass. Now, it's not for bass heads at all. It's, this is for people who really appreciate instrumentation and good, clean music, and that's what I was really surprised by. This little thing projects, and it fills this whole entire room with sound. When you take these. When you take these flaps and you push them out forward, you can hear that sound. You can hear the clarity just become more present. You can hear the instrumentation and the sound separation. It's pretty amazing what they've done inside of this little box. And I will tell you, sitting at that desk earlier, it did not do this thing any justice. It didn't even really sound like it was that loud uh, up until I put it on a shelf. Uh, they recommend you download the BenQ app to get the maximum experience, but all the app really offered me was some instructions on how to pair uh, two of them together to get stereo sound. And I do suggest you try that out. I only have one speaker, but I can only imagine how well this sounds paired up with another one in stereo. Uh, but it just showed, the app just shows you how to pair them up and it allows you to turn the 3D sound on and off. Now I've tried it with the 3D sound off and it sounded great, but as soon as you bump that switch to the 3D sound on, keep these speakers turned out Man, you will be blown away by the clarity of this speaker. It, this little thing is amazing. This reminds me of back in the day, like the 90s, when everybody was so shocked that Bose speakers could be so small and fill up a room. This is pretty much the new age representation of that. This speaker is so tiny, but it fills up this room. Not necessarily with bass, but with instrumentation and great sound quality. Now it does come equipped with a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can plug in if you want to and listen to your music directly connected, but it works perfectly Bluetooth. And once again, if you pair two of them together, you get stereo uh, Bluetooth. But I would suggest definitely keeping this thing on uh, 3D sound and keeping these flaps open and put it on a shelf somewhere. Yes, this thing pretty much project sound through all sides of it but if you put it up on a shelf somewhere and just step back a few feet you're going to be amazed at how much sound these tiny little drivers in this small speaker put out I'm really impressed with the craftsmanship and I'm blown away by the sound and once again if you're the type of person that really wants to appreciate your music I'm talking classical I'm talking jazz I'm talking any type of live music or any type of music with good instrumentation this right here is something you might want to check out. I'm going to try to give you a, a couple of sound samples real quick. I don't think it'll do it any justice at all, but I'm going to put this speaker right here on the shelf. I'm going to go into my old school and play some of that for y'all real quick. That sounds so good. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Man, that sounds good. It's so clean. You make me happy. 2005 Toyota Prius Fast and Furious. <laughs> okay. So I was just watching a YouTube uh, video, Hoovy's Garage, man. Y'all ever watch Hoovy's Garage? This guy just blows money on cars on purpose. It's just insane the amount of money he spends on cars. I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys that there is absolutely no latency when watching YouTube videos or any other movie of that sort. Bluetooth connectivity is very strong. You can go through uh, a minimum of one wall and some furniture uh, with your phone connected to this thing. So don't be worried about that. But just to round out this video, uh, there's nothing more I can say about it than just get one. This is the speaker you set down and you grab yourself a nice drink and enjoy your music to. Anyways, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I just like jamming my music. And when I do, I jam hard. So 